Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh. Hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing what I consider to perhaps be one of the best secured cards available, that being the Bank of America Customized Cash Rewards Secured Credit Card. This card is pretty much just the secure version of their regular Cash Rewards card, which I also made a video for and will link in the description box below. The difference with this card, however, is that it is built more for those looking to build or rebuild their credit score, and therefore will need to put down a small deposit up front. This is something that most other card companies offer as well, but there's one thing that Bank of America does just a little bit different, which really makes this card stand out. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing this particular card, going over some of the features of it, and what you should perhaps look out for. But first, before I get into the review for today, if you would like to quickly grab two free stocks from Webull, you can definitely feel free to do so by clicking my link in the description box below. Okay, so jumping right into it, again, this is a secured car for those looking to build or rebuild the credit, so you will need to put down an upfront deposit. The minimum that you're able to put down is $300, with the maximum being $4,900. Per Bank of America's terms of service, if you provide a deposit that exceeds the calculated maximum amount based on your ability to pay, a check will be returned to you for the difference. Whatever amount you put down as your security deposit will end up being the credit limit that you're given. And yeah, it does kind of suck having to put down a security deposit up front, but this amount is fully refundable, and you have to remember that it's just a small sacrifice you have to make in order to build your credit score. Now, you might be wondering whether or not there's a spend bonus with this card. Unfortunately, there is not, but that is pretty rare among secured credit cards. If that's a deal breaker to you, which it really shouldn't be at this point, you could always check out Discover It's Secured Credit Card, which I also did a review on and will link in the description box below. Again though, with these secured credit cards, it's pretty rare that you're given any type of spend bonuses or cash back. However, even though you won't be receiving a welcome bonus with this card, you do have the ability to earn some pretty solid cashback rewards. Every single quarter, you'll be given the ability to pick a category to earn 3% cashback in. These categories include gas, online shopping, dining, travel, drugstores, and home improvement. I recommend that you look back at your spending, figure out which of these categories that you spend the most in, and pick that category to be the one that you earn the 3% cash back in. Then at grocery stores and wholesale clubs, when using this credit card, you'll be earning 2% cash back. I also have to note that you will only be eligible to earn 3 and 2% cash back on the first $2,500 in combined purchases from your 3% cash back category, as well as the 2% cash back category. After reaching the $2,500 spend threshold, and also on all purchases not in those categories, you'll be earning just 1% cash back, which really isn't all that bad, all things considered. The Discovered Ed Secured Card also offers cash back, but again, this isn't meant to be a video comparing the two cards, so I won't dive too much into that. With this card, there are also no annual fees, which is really great because all the cash back rewards are pure profit. Also, your cashback rewards never expire, so you don't have to worry about redeeming them after a certain period of time or losing all the cashback that you worked so hard for. As far as redeeming your cashback goes, you will have the ability to redeem them at any point in time, either for statement credit, direct deposits to your bank account if you bank with Bank of America, or for credit to an eligible account with Merrill. As far as the interest rate and fees go, as you'll see up on the screen, you will start out with a variable APR of 23.99%, but again, as long as you're paying on time, which we should be focused on, we won't have to worry about paying any extra interest. There are also some other fees that you should definitely look out for, just like with any other credit card, such as on balance transfers, cash advances, and late payments, but once again, for the most part, we really don't need to worry about these, as long as we're paying on time. Now, one of the fees that I am just a little bit disappointed in, however, are the foreign transaction fees, just because if you do happen to travel abroad or make a purchase on some international websites, you will be hit with a 3% foreign transaction fee. Now, in most cases, at least for the first one to two times this happens, they will waive the fee, but still, it's definitely an inconvenience, especially with other car companies on the market, such as Capital One, not having any foreign transaction fees. Finally, as far as your credit score goes, 
Again, this card is designed for those looking to build or rebuild their credit, so there is no minimum score required. Bank of America expects that the majority of people applying for this credit card will have lower credit scores, so the likelihood of being accepted if you apply are pretty good. If you apply and are accepted for this card, again, you will need to put down a minimum security deposit of $300. However, after around one year, as long as you've been paying on time, you should see improvements in your credit score, and there's a pretty decent chance after one year, once again, that you will be able to graduate onto one of their unsecured cards, at which point you'll receive your security deposit back. Again though, there are no guarantees here, but I have seen that most people who do open secure credit cards and make on-time payments for one entire year, they are then able to move on to an unsecured credit card, which is also reflected in an increased credit score. So with that said, would I personally recommend this particular card? The answer to that is yes, I definitely would. Considering that it can help most people build or rebuild their credit, all while earning pretty good rewards in the form of cash back, up to 3% back in certain categories, and having no annual fee, that's pretty good. You have to remember, a lot of other secured cards on the market today don't offer any rewards or cash back, so being able to earn 3 and 2% cash back in many categories is really, really solid. In the end though, even though this isn't meant to be a comparison video, I really like Discover It's Secured Card the most, just because not only will you be earning cash back on all transactions, but you will also receive a cash back match at the end of your first year, which works as a spend bonus. All in all though, you really can't go wrong with either of these credit cards, but with everything else, I definitely recommend that you do your own research. So on that note, I am gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. So if you did enjoy the content in today's video and you would like to see more videos like it, I would greatly appreciate it if you could hit the like button, share, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And before I go, again, don't forget to grab your two free socks from Weeble, valued up to $2,300 by opening an account using my link in the description box below and making a qualifying deposit. So thank you so much again for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.